sis, if he does or says this on the phone, this is what he actually means. Hi, hello. It's Ann. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. And ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if he answers almost all of your phone calls in the first place, you're important to him, okay? I don't know if he's interested, but you're definitely important. Two, guys, please don't be offended. But guys are so boring to talk to on the phone. They stick to the, uh-huh, yeah, okay, what are you doing? But if he likes you, there's going to be conversation there. He's going to be asking you questions. He has follow-up questions ready after you respond. And three, if he just calls you out of nowhere, literally so random, like you guys weren't even Snapchatting or texting beforehand, he just calls you. He was thinking about you. <laughs> and you answering that call just saying hi probably made his day. Sis. If he does these things or says these things, this is what he actually means. Hi, hello, it's Ann. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong, and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if you cancel on him, like y'all had plans, and he responds with, oh, no, it's okay, but like, when are you free next? He actually asks to see when is the next possible time that you guys can make up for not hanging out when you were supposed to. It's because he was probably really looking forward to hanging out with you, and he's low-key or even high key really disappointed. Two, if you guys are saying hi or bye, you ask him for your hug, he takes a moment and he just smiles. You just made his day. He was probably hoping to hug you, he just was too shy to ask. And three, sis, if you start talking to another dude and you realize that he falls back, he lets you do your thing, he doesn't bother you anymore, y'all are supposed to be friends, it's because he wanted to be more than friends with you, but he respects you and this new guy. He's putting your happiness first. Sis, if he says or does this, this is what he actually means. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong, and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if he offers you his hoodie, and you say no, it's okay, but he's consistent. He's like, no, 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 come on, you're cool, just take it. He likes you. <laughs> Usually, if you say no and he doesn't really care, it's like, all right, fine. But if he continuously asks you, like, nah, it's okay, just take it, Two, let's say you guys are talking and it's late at night. If you ask him, like, oh, do you want to go to bed? It's fine. And he tries to play it off, like, no, he's good. But you know damn well that he's tired. <laughs> like, you can see it. Baby girl, he rock with you heavy because he's losing sleep for you. And three, if he is telling you, better yet warning you, that another dude likes you. Ladies, I'm not saying we're oblivious, but sometimes we really just don't see it. And guys can see it from a mile away. If he tells you that another dude is interested in you, believe him. He is most likely right. Ladies, if you do this on social media, it is a huge turn off to the guys. Hi, hello, it's Ann. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, yes, sis, you can post whatever you want to post. It is your page. I get that. I totally understand. No disrespect towards you. However, if you indirectly shade someone over and over again on social media, the guys are going to look at it and be like, damn she's problematic two it's when you state that you're single but you still have all these posts with your ex-boyfriend like if you're just not ready to delete them i get it but if you're not ready to delete them then you're also not ready to date he's gonna see that and be like she's stuck on her ex gotta go and three this one i it's when all of her grid posts like all of her pictures on instagram like all of them have a snapchat filter there's not one normal picture Guys, let me know. Disclaimer, like I said, this was not to offend anyone. Agree to disagree. Sis, if you do this, you're gonna make his heart melt. Hi, hello, it's Ann. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong, and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if you give him a really, really, really long hug, he would be so happy. Two, it's when you guys are talking on the phone or maybe on FaceTime. Sis, Stay on the phone with him because if you fall asleep, I promise you, it's so cute. And three, this one's really simple, but you need to know this. One of the best ways to make a guy's heart melt, just smile at him. And when he notices that you're smiling at him, just look away. Guys, let me know. Sis, if he says or does this, 
This is what he actually means. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong, and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if he responds back to you, but he's just really dry. Unfortunately, he is not interested. He's just bored, or he's just trying to be nice. Two, if he consistently posts you on social media, like on his Snapchat story, Instagram post, the chances of him being interested in you has heightened. You're in the game, sis. And three, if y'all were close, like you guys talked almost all the time, and then all of a sudden he stops talking to you and he tries to avoid seeing you, yes, it may just come off like you made him mad, but if he is avoiding you that badly, sis, I, I think you broke his heart. Sis, if he says or does this over Snapchat, this is what he actually means. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. And ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if he sends you full face pictures of himself, like, he knows he's cute. Two, if y'all can hold a conversation through Snapchat pictures and he remembers what you guys are talking about every single time, he is a hundred percent interested in you because you know how much effort it takes to try to hold a conversation on snapchat everybody be forgetting what they just said and what they talking about and three if he's leaving you on red delivered or pending he's not interested baby girl yes if you do this it will make him go Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again because it's pretty simple. Full face pictures. Love it. Two, text him randomly and tease him. Just be like, I want you to get food with me. He's going to be like, quit playing, bro. <laughs> it's great. And three, it's when you openly joke and saying stuff like, I'm only here because I want to see you. He's going to be like, for real? And you're like, nah, I'm playing. Sis, you know you're not playing. Like, you mean that. This type of teasing. Sis, if you do these things, he's gonna fall for you. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. And ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, sis, hit him up first. Be the one to text him first. Be a little forward and ask to hang out. Because honestly, guys just never expect that. Two, make the friendship or whatever it is that you guys are exclusive so if he's hanging out with his friends and you see him don't turn around and ignore him like go up to him and his friends and give him a hug say hi i know that that's that's scary but like he'll like it and three this one will literally he'll fall for you so hard be his safe space don't force him to open up to you but if he is make sure that you listen and honestly just don't create more problems for him you want him to want to be with you be patient communicate be that person Prove to him that not all girls are the same. Sis, if you do this, it'll make him go. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong and ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, look him up and down and just smile. It shows interest and in his head he's gonna be like, I think she wants me. Two, this is gonna sound weird, but ladies, trust me. If he's sitting down and you're standing up, put your arm around him. Take your fingers, put it behind his neck and just gently... Like, you'll instantly get goosebumps. And three, be playful. So you can say this to him through text, through Snapchat, or in person, or on the phone. When y'all are teasing each other, and you're joking around, he tries to say something mean to you. This literally just be like, I know you like me. It's cool. Because if he actually does like you, he is bouncing off the walls right now. <laughs> I'm going to help you understand the bromance. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if they roast each other, that's love. If you're not part of the boys, you cannot chime in. That is not your place. You are not allowed. You are a dead man if you disrespect one of the boys and you're not one of the boys. Two, sis, you could be his girlfriend and you can create a bond with his guy friends. Yes, of course, you should. But sis, you need to understand this. They're his friends. If you hurt him, no matter how good your relationship with the boys was or were, they're done with you too. Harsh, but it's the truth. And three, if one of the boys are not feeling good emotionally, yes, they will comfort each other. But it's not going to be the type of comfort that us ladies are used to. The boys aren't going to sit there and be like, yo, bro, it's okay, it's good, it's fine. Like, no. Most of the time, it's quiet. They just listen, but they're there. To the boys, that is the best way to comfort each other. Actions, not words.
this. If you do this, he is going to want you. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if you guys match energy, let me elaborate. If he's teasing you, you do not hesitate to tease him back. If he's being a little flirtatious, you know what, sis? Flirt back. Two, the chase is not a competition, but sis, if you one-up him, ooh. Example, if he texts you good morning, call him and tell him you wish he has a great day. If he snaps you a picture of the ceiling, snap him back with a full face picture of yourself. One up. And three, this is like the key to a guy's heart. Gentlemen, let me know if I'm wrong. But it's so nice when she's the one that makes the first move, right? You will leave him speechless and wanting more. Listen, baby, confidence, not cocky. Don't be acting like every guy wants you. Put forth that energy like, I want this specific one. And it's him. If you text him this, he's gonna be really excited. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, if you randomly tell him that you were in his dream last night, instantly he's gonna be like, what, why, why, what happened? Two, sis, all you gotta do is ask him. Just be like, so when am I gonna see you? In his head, he's gonna be like, she wants to see me? So excited. And three, it's when you joke around with him and you kind of just hint to him that, you know, like you're trying to make a move on him. Example, it's kind of like saying, so would you prefer the girl make the first move or should I wait for you to do it? Bonus, it's when you randomly text him and just be like, hey, do you want to cuddle? Mind blown. He will literally be so confused, but he'll like it. If you do this, it'll make him go... Hi, hello, it's Ann. Guys, please let me know if I'm wrong, and ladies, pay attention. Let's go! One, if he likes to play video games or a sport, and you're not really familiar with it, ask him if he can teach you. He would be really confused at first, he'd be like, wait, seriously? But he'd be so happy. Two, bring him his favorite food when he least expects it. And, and their food, we already know. Three, randomly call him or text him and just say, hey, I miss you, when can I see you? So let him know that you're thinking about him bonus and i say this all the time but i'm gonna say it because it is the king and queen of all of this ladies compliment him tell him how proud you are of him or how great he is or how good he looks guys let me know if he texts you like this he likes you hi hello it's dan guys please let me know if i'm wrong ladies pay attention let's go one the amount of emojis or spontaneous memes that he sends you is his way of putting effort into the conversation because he wants to talk to you Two, he tries not to do this, but it's inevitable. He's going to double text. He's going to be so mad at himself for doing so afterwards, but it'll happen. Three, guys won't really know how to start the conversation or how to keep it going. So his favorite line is, what are you doing? You'll get that text like three times in the next two hours. He doesn't want the conversation to end. Bonus, he texts you all throughout the day, every day. If the conversation allows it, almost all his messages are going to be pretty lengthy. If he likes you, it's very rare for him to send you just a one-worded text message. Guys, let me know.